Hey, thanks for joining me today. We're going to talk about how to charge what you're worth. But more importantly, what does that even mean, charging what you're worth? So one of the big problems that I come across with entrepreneurs, and this, this comes up literally with I would say 99% of the clients I work with is that they're not charging enough. They're undercharging for their services. They want to make more money. And they ask me questions like, what should I be charging? Or how do I charge more for my services? So if you're in a service-based business, this is for you. If you're in a product-based business, there's other factors to consider, of course, when charging for your products, you have to factor in other costs. But let's talk about today, we're gonna to really talk about service-based businesses. How are you charging what you're worth? And as you're coming in, please say hello, leave me a comment because I would love to know that you're watching. And if you're watching on the replay, just type in hashtag replay. All right, so let's let's dive in. First of all, and this might, I don't know, this might seem a little shocking, but I think we should really stop telling people to charge what they're worth. I think that's the first step in charging what you're worth is stop telling people charge what you're worth. Because what does that even mean? How do you put a price tag on something that's intangible or on something that's results-based? So let's say, let's say you're in the health and fitness industry and you want to charge for health coaching or fitness coaching. That's that's the realm I used to play in. I was a personal trainer and a nutrition advisor. Hi, Barb. Hi, Karen. Thanks for joining today. I used to play in that field. And, and how do you put a, a price tag on someone's health and say, well, this is worth X amount of dollars in terms of the results they get. If you're in business coaching or consulting, how do you put a price tag on the worth of your time when you're coaching or you're working with someone? How do you do that? So I think the first thing we really need to do when we're looking at charging what you're worth is stop saying charge what you're worth. And that might seem counterintuitive, but we can't actually quantify what you're worth or the value that you bring. So there are people who have lots and lots of different formulas to figure out what it is that you should charge for your services, for your time. And there, I, I don't think there is a magic formula, to be honest. Um, I think it's just you pick a price, you pick a number that you feel really good about, and you charge that. I think that's kind of it. And then you see what happens. So you pick a price, you pick a number out of the air and you go, you know, I think that my time, my session time, my hour, whatever it is, the package is worth X amount of dollars. And then you put it out to the, the marketplace and you see what happens. And one of two things is going to happen. Either people don't buy and you'll get some feedback. Maybe they say it's too expensive. Um, or people do buy and you get the feedback that maybe you've priced it correctly. Or actually there's a third option and that's when lots of people buy all at once and then and then maybe you've underpriced yourself. So you pick a number, you try it out, you see what actually works. Now, the problem is not, here's the thing, the problem is not just putting a price tag on what it is that you do. The real problem comes down to feeling congruent about what it is that you're charging. So we keep hearing, and I hear this all the time, people saying, oh, just charge what you worth. There was nice, like cute memes that are like, charge what you worth and then add tax. Yeah, those are all really cute. But um, the most important thing is you have to charge what you believe you are worth. So if you're charging, I don't know, $100 for a session, and people are telling you that you should charge 500. If you inside don't feel totally congruent with that, people will not buy it because they won't, um, they won't believe you when you say this is what I charge. They'll, they'll sense your hesitation. They'll sense your insecurity about it. We have we give off all kinds of signals unconsciously. And, and we do this, especially when we're talking about our services, what it is that we're selling. And if you're not totally congruent, meaning that every, every part of you, every cell of you is in alignment with what it is that you're saying, so your actions, your behavior, your, you know, your f internal feelings, your state are all in alignment with the words coming out of your mouth, that's congruency. So if you're not congruent, if you're incongruent in what you're offering, that comes through and people, they don't buy because they don't trust you. They don't believe you. They don't think it's going to work. 
Um, so then they might say, well, I think that's too much money. Uh, but it's not really the price tag that's the problem. It's your belief in it that's the problem. So whatever price you pick out of the air, you have to feel totally congruent in offering that and in saying that this is my rate. And if you're not, then it's not going to work. You know, when I started in coaching, I I set my rate at, I think it was $200 an hour and I wasn't getting clients. And the feedback I was getting was, it's too expensive. I can't afford that. And so I thought, well, I better lower my rates. Thank goodness I got a coach before I did that. And I, I hired a coach to help me sell coaching. And I said to him, I said, you know, I tell people that my rate is $200 an hour and they say it's too expensive. They can't afford it. I think I should lower maybe to 150, 100. And he said, no, absolutely not. It's not the price. It's a problem. You're going to double your rate. And I was like, double my rate, but people are saying they can't afford me now. And, and he said, because the price is incongruent. So what was happening is I'd priced myself too low for the people who would see value in what I was doing and the people who would pay and invest in coaching. I was too low there. They would think, oh, you're not very good because you're not charging very much. And the people who would never see value in it, I would never pay for coaching and it would always be too expensive were telling me it was too expensive. So those would be people who I could lower my rate to $50 an hour and they still would not be buying. So you, you pick a number that you feel good about and you have to totally believe in it and that that is what you are selling. But the, the third piece of it is you have to get your messaging right and you have to be targeting the right people. Because if you're trying to sell something that's a higher ticket service to people who do not see the value in it, they're not going to buy it ever. So then you have the wrong market. So your messaging, your market, and the price, everything has to be congruent and it has to line up in here that you feel totally congruent and solid in it. So you could look at formulas for how you set your rates. You could do that. You could look at what other people are charging. You can do that. But what it really comes down to is your belief in your own self-worth, your self-image, how you view yourself, and then positioning in the marketplace. So do you have the right market? Are you delivering the right message that's congruent with that? And here's what happens when you do that. I worked with a client recently who was um, you know, one of, one of the, the best clients I could ever get. This was a client who... When he came to me on paper, I looked at him and I went, this is, this is my ideal person. This is exactly who I want. And I asked him, I said, how did you hear about me? How did you come to me? And he said, I've been following you on Instagram and it's your, you know, it's your message. It's how you communicate through Instagram. It's your videos. It's your podcast. I've been following you for a while and, and I've come to the conclusion you're the coach for me. And when I told him my rates, he said, oh, good, good. And I said, that's an interesting response. And he said, it might sound weird, Terry, but I don't want a cheap coach. I've hired cheap coaches in the past. They didn't know what they were doing. He said, I'm glad that you charge what you do. And not only that, I'm glad that you do it so confidently. And then he said to me, he said, you're like a Navy SEAL on a mission. And I trust in you when you say this is what I charge. I trust in you that you are going to deliver that value because I hear it in your voice. That's congruence. And that is the right marketing to the right market with the right message and having the right price and feeling totally congruent in it. And that's what happens is there was no rebuttal. There was no objection. He said, thank God you charge what you charge. So if you are thinking, I want to raise my rates and actually just put a little comment in the chat if you're watching this and you're thinking, I would like to raise my rates. And let me know if you are stuck, if there's an area you're stuck when it comes to raising your rates. Is it that people are telling you it's too expensive? Is it that you don't know how to message things properly? Like what is it that stops you from making the money you want? Because ultimately when we're talking about charging what you're worth, what we're really saying is charge what you wanna charge. And and then we figure out what are, what are the things that are stopping you from making the money that you wanna make? That's really what it all comes down to. So put in the chat and let me know, are you are you struggling to charge what you're worth? Are you struggling to figure out what that number is that you wanna put on it? Are you struggling to get that money? What What is it that's stopping you from having the success that you want? And then on Friday morning, um, I'm gonna be hosting a webinar Friday morning. And, and here's the thing. So we're gonna be talking about how to use NLP specifically to level up your business. So if you want to level up and you want to charge more for your services, this 
webinar is going to be for you. It's going to be a small, intimate webinar, very interactive, more of like a master class. Think of it like a master class. So if you're interested in joining me on that, I don't have the link ready because I just thought of it right before I went live. So if you want in on that, then, and then put in the comments as well. Just put in that you want the link and I'll make sure that you have the link when I set up the registration page a little bit later today. So I see from, from Barbara, for you, it's the message. And Karen, I'm determining my rates for a new area of business. Oh, that sounds exciting. And Stefano, when I was in the service business exclusively, I can't imagine how much time I used to waste charging less than I was worth because I was desperate for business. Big mistake on my part. Absolutely. And that brings me to another point I want to mention. So I'm glad Stefano mentioned that is here's the thing at the bottom of the pile, you will find so much competition. Think about it. When you drive down the street, how many fast food places do you see? Right? There's like there's Burger King, McDonald's, there's like, as you drive down a street, like a, a main street, you are going to see lots of fast food restaurants. But how many high end restaurants do you see? There's, there's less competition at the top. So when you get to a point where you can raise your rates and you can market yourself as offering an exclusive product with a high end ticket value on it, there's less competition at the top of the pile than there is at the bottom. At the bottom, you are competing on price and you're going to be scrapping with everyone else in your industry who's at that bottom level price point. And then you're bartering on price essentially. And that's what people are coming to you for. Not everybody buys on price. In fact, a lot of people, price is not their determining factor on whether they buy your product or your service. So you could be down here at the bottom of the totem pole and, and fighting with everyone else at the bottom. Or when you elevate your price point and you have the right messaging, the right market, and everything is in alignment, you can charge more money and you have less competition for it because there are people who are looking for higher end services and they want something that's exclusive and it takes a different strategy and it takes a different mindset in order to reach those people. So thank you, Stephanie. I'm glad that you mentioned that because that was a point I wanted to bring up. So thanks for watching.